we're going over to a uh, a vehicle crash. A male, 60 year old male on a on a moped. According to the call notes, it says he wiped out. So we're gonna be arriving here shortly to uh, check. Dispatch out. received. It looks like he's standing up Listen. now. Hi there. Was it you on the bike? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Man, you need fire rescue to come look at you? No. You no, sure? I'm all right. Are you bleeding from your head at all? No. Nah. You mind if I just take a quick look at you real quick? Here, turn, turn to your right. Was no. there a vehicle or anything involved? No, um, it was just a you? possum came out. Oh, uh, okay. I tried to What's zig that? and zag. I get it. Are you diagnosed with anything that will cause a speech impediment? Other than you know, drinking, you no. Know, I'll be honest. OK, you've been doing that tonight? Well, I had a few drinks at the bar right there up at Breakers and came home. Can you call my mom? And sent him around the corner, or let me walk the scooter back to the house. Well, no, we're not there yet, but uh, right now I'm gonna. I know this. You, you can already tell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh that's... yeah, that's broke, bud. Yeah. Here, well, let's get fire rescue for you, man. All right. No. I mean, you took kind of a, a quite a fall, man. Why don't you just sit there on this log here, you know, rather than stand up, just so you don't fall over on me. All right. And this doesn't appear, you know, to be a case of the mysterious possum crossing the road. This appears to be uh, probably being under the influence. He lost control or maybe underestimated a turn or something like that. We've actually had several accidents on this roadway here, this, this turnabout here. When we arrived on scene, he was already on his feet. He was with other people. The bike is off the ground. Right now, there's no wheel witness. Wheel witness has to be law enforcement. Now, if he was physically sitting on it when we arrived, it'd be a different story. I'm going to notify his next kin, which is his mom, and uh, let her know what's going on with her son and maybe see what's going on with the bike. I know he's a big, grown boy, and he shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't have to be dealing with things like this, but. You know, he's got an open alcoholic beverage there. He's uh, actually needs to consider himself very lucky that A, he didn't get himself hurt or someone else hurt, and B, that he's not going to jail right now for driving under the influence. So Miss Kathy here is going to be taking the bike, the moped home. I kind of advised her, you know, the, uh, the severity of the situation. You know, it's not just simply falling off the bike and you know, everybody's OK, and he's going to go to a hospital with minor injuries. But, you know, he admitted to drinking. He was clearly under the influence. But with the not having an independent wheel witness, we can't really do much right now. Our hands are tied with that, you know? And that's going to be that for this situation. <laughs>